Good morning, folks. Welcome, observers. Today, we've got looks at weather, some severe storms, and more coming. A new interactive galactic data viewer, and two big stories on what triggers earthquakes right up the observer's alley. So let's start with the last 24 hours on our star, and we find it was a mostly quiet day. No significant solar flares or eruptive activity. Bit of instability at some of the regions incoming bottom left, nothing major. Solar wind and geomagnetic conditions are middle of the road, not quiet, not storm conditions. And as we look ahead to today, the lone complex sunspot group is morphing a good bit, but not in ways that develop size or the complexity of the Delta class configurations. Alas, there and whatever is coming over the limb right behind it are the main eruption watches as we enter the second half of the week. Coronal hole is facing us now, magnetically connecting today, with enhancements in the solar wind expected to arrive over the weekend. Eyes open for all of it. Folks, major storm dropped a couple kinds of severe weather on the Gulf states yesterday, including tornadoes. It'll do it again tonight as a powerful low pressure cell in purple it is driven by high pressure nodes around it causing moist, hot southern air to crash into cooler, drier air coming around the western side. Convergence line is where the storms kick up. Eyes open again this evening. Up next, folks, this might not look like much to many of you, almost like a broken version of the wind map at earth.nullschool.net, but it's the galactic data. That's right. You can see age, velocity, density, several different items, and can work it through distance from the sun as well, not to mention the ability to change the map pattern, map shape, and to drag and contort the map. It's basically the wind map for astronomers and at the galactic scale. Very cool. Coming down the stretch, we begin with planetary forcing of earthquakes, and yep, that's exactly what it sounds like, with clear periodicities that match known orbits and orbital resonance, including some from Venus, Jupiter, and Saturn. That 11-year one, by the way, is the earthquake uptick tied to the solar cycle, which we've seen discussed dozens of times before, and actually, let's make that a few dozen and one. Another interesting thought piece on mechanisms of how the sun is triggering earthquakes. Not a huge fan of this heat hypothesis. I prefer electromagnetic forcing, but they wouldn't have anything to hypothesize at all if the data weren't so darn clear that the correlation between the sun and earthquakes exists. Now they just have to explain how it works. Pole shift conferences kick back up this month at Observer Ranch. There's one every month. Dr. Robitaille is coming end of April to start the season. Dr. Dunning the very next weekend for Kings of Catastrophe. See all the events at ObserverRanch.com. Check out our Observer Bot. Grab our books and merchandise. And of course, book your trip to come see us in person. We'd love to shake your hand. It all starts at ObserverRanch.com. We greatly appreciate your support. We'll do this all again tomorrow right here, but right now it's 5 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.